Welcome back, Virgo. This will be your February 2020 ASMR tarot forecast. This month I will be using the Cosmic Tarot. Really love the illustrations. And I also have this aromatherapy spray, which is cedarwood and red mandarin, and it is called Stream of Success. So it's supposed to bring success into your life. Really. Love the way it smells. And then I also have my crackling bonfire candle. And um, I'm sure you cannot smell it uh, through the video, but it smells like, it smells like a bonfire. It's like these little sweet undertones too. I love that smell. Alright Virgo, let's get started. So what do you anticipate for February of 2020? I've been having some cliffhanging readings, um, not like they end abruptly or anything, but stuff that uh, it says is coming, but not coming in February. So we shall see. Oh, I hear somebody's bass frequencies. But that's, that's just the valley. That's just how it is here. There's just so many, so many people here. A lot going on. Right, Virgo, let's see what's going on for you in the month of February. So we did have a jumper, and it's the lover's card, and it's upright, which, of course, the lover's card for February, that's pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. but it means I have to keep shuffling. All right, almost there. All right, here we go. Yeah. All right, so I will be dealing out towards you. I am a Virgo rising, but I don't usually read myself as a Virgo. I usually read myself as a Leo is good for you because I don't make every single reading all about me. Only the Leo reading. All right. So I've got my smoky quartz here and my rose quartz here. 
Let's see, what is going on for you in the month of February? Oh, this is really cool. So we start out with the Ace of Wands crossed by the Three of Pentacles. Ace of Wands is all about your creative power and your energy and putting that out there into the world. And then, of course, the Three of Pentacles being a card about a job that you have been doing long enough now to be pretty good at it and to be well respected. <sighs> I'm sorry. I have like a touch of something. Um, I think it's just coming back to California and, the, um, and Los Angeles and the pollution after a month. In the past position, we have the Chariot. This is Cancer's card. Uh, it's a card about victory. It also is one of the cards in the tarot deck in which we explore the duality of choice. We have the white horse and the black horse. So perhaps a choice that caused you to be victorious. Take the high road or take the low. And then here in the current position, so this is for the month of February, we have the Ace of Wands. Put this kind of behind. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles, which is all about a new job, new money coming in. So maybe you're about to get a promotion because of your creative ideas in the month of February. And now the future position. We have the sun. The sun is a Leo card. So the sun card in the future position Everything is going to be really great really soon, right? Well, it'll be really great, but not in the month of February. All of this stuff is going to start happening in February, but the culmination of all of this really great new development will not be coming in the month of February. That's not bad. It's just, you know, I mean, true success shouldn't be that short-lived it's just how it goes these are time dependent readings so that's kind of how it is um and then in the goal or destiny position we have the eight of pentacles reversed so this is very much like the sequel to this where the eight of pentacles is a card about being in a career with which you're very satisfied and that you're very talented in your field. Um, and because it's in the goal or destiny position, and as I said, this is a time-dependent reading for February of 2020, uh, this will not be occurring in the month of February, but it will be coming for you probably in the same time frame as this, the sun. Let's see if I can find out a little bit more about that. And I kind of feel like this is like later in the year, not something that's going to be fully culminating in the spring, but like maybe later, like after the summer. So this is your current state. We have the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands card is about a heavy burden. So possibly you have, you know, you've got all this creative energy. You're well respected and liked at your job. And you do have the potential for new money to come in in February. But I think, especially for Virgo, who's very detail-oriented and very meticulous, that's probably a lot of pressure for you. Let's see how other people are viewing your situation. 
Yeah, I mean, everybody else around you sees you as having the whole world in your hands. And these four corners are the four fixed signs of the zodiac, and they are the uh, four aspects of the tetramorph and represent the four archangels. And I'm sure I've gone, sorry, I'm sure I've gone into that many times before. So I see that you are burdened by um, a lot of the pressures from this job, but no one else sees that. No one else even knows that you feel that way about it. And here, in the hopes and fears position, we do have the Two of Cups upright, so I feel like romance is definitely on your mind in this month of February. 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 And we did have that jumper of the lover's card. Now the final card for this portion of the reading. We have the Five of Wands and it's reversed. So the Five of Wands is a card about rivalry. I see a lot now Virgo is an earth sign, and so is very tied to pentacles. So in some ways it's possible that some of these pentacles cards could relate to romantic situations as well. Uh, but I really feel a lot of like career energy in this spread and money energy. Um, because we are being told here that romance is definitely on your mind. Um, but I do want to open your mind to the possibility that a lot of the career aspects of this reading could also pertain to a romantic relationship. And as such, the Five of Wands, because we are looking at a lot of wand energy compounding your pentacle energy, it's entirely possible that the there might be a fire sign involved in your life right now. This could be a romance in the workplace. Um, it could be a job that you're very passionate about to the point that um, it almost is your romantic partner. And so what we have here is in the goal or destiny position, we do have this eight of pentacles and then the final outcome we have the five of wands and it's reversed both of these cards being reversed um i feel like this one is more like a more of a long term than the final outcome and i feel this way because by the time you're this established in this career you're probably not going to be dealing with as much of this anymore especially if you've got stuff like this coming in at some point in the future. We're looking at like a happy outcome and not something that is in a state of turmoil. But it's also possible that the nature of your creative field, because it definitely looks like a creative career that we're looking at here, um, with as many wands and as many pentacles as are in this reading. The Five of Wands is all about these like rivalries and about infighting. Now, because it's in the reverse and because this is a time dependent reading, I see this as being something that is not necessarily going to happen in February. Uh, but that will be coming in the future. 
And so it's possible that what the reading is telling you is that even when you get very established in this career, there will still be aspects of this. But it's also possible that it's a chronology and that the final outcome of this particular situation that's being set up in February is going to be this Five of Wands energy. And that'll probably come like over the summer sometime. And that the long term of this career path, the goal or destiny, which, you know, could be years, could be decades, who knows? Um, at this point, this is just your monthly reading, and it's a general reading. So that that energy will come after. So that's a lot to unpack. But, you know, um, that doesn't rule out a fun romance. I think romance is definitely going to be on your mind this month. Um, in spite of all the trials and tribulations of the workplace. So, you know, don't forget to have fun. Don't forget to have a good time in February. There are many opportunities for it, of course. Now, I was encouraged by my husband to pull this deck out again. Um, it's a lot of fun, depending on how you feel about the macabre. So this is the Fan Toad Pack, which was illustrated by Edward Gorey. And it has a lot of, like, uh, malefic interpretations in the little booklet here. So I've been throwing it in at the end, not as, like, a continuation of the reading or a culmination of the reading, but as a little fun aside, really more than anything else, because how many of us are lucky enough to get into a boating accident, right? Can't even afford to rent a sea do right now, let alone get into a full on yacht accident you know, the struggles of the ultra-wealthy. And uh, in a way, like, uh, that's one of the things that I really love about Edward Gorey's work, is that it's these improbable situations that crop up because these characters are so privileged and sometimes very stupid. I'm going to draw three of these cards. And read to you about your fictional demise. The first card we have, oh, the burning head. Yes. So. Sunday, bafflement, loss of saliva, a forged deed, an impasse, extradition, a boating accident, chill blains, delayed desires, wandering sickness, evil companions, an impediment and despondency. The next card we have, oh, there's nothing I love better than a flayed corpse, the écorché. Jesus Christ, it's making me whole again. June, sexual incompetence, a forged check, obscurity, irregularities, 
Puckers Inconsistency An accident on a pier My goodness, you're getting awfully close to the water Morbid sensibilities Deception A social disease Confinement And cysts Now that I think about it a little more, if you are a Virgo, you may want to avoid the water in February. <laughs> it's a very cold time of year to swim anyway. All right, last one. The child. September. That's your birth month, right? Denigration. Sexual inadequacy. Styes. We had cysts, now we've got styes. Hallucinations. Breakage. Loss of youth. Rust. Crawling sickness. An obstacle. Forced restraint. Aberrations and Qatar. Not like the country Qatar, but Qatar like coughing fit. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. I didn't get a lot of uh, feelings from my pulling cards from this deck for the other signs, but um, I'm definitely seeing a pattern for Virgos that maybe you should stay away from the water just for a month. No big deal. And that's not for everybody. I mean, I'm sure that's just for like a handful of people. <laughs> I appreciate you joining me for your tarot forecast this month, Virgo. And I hope to see you again in March for your March 2020 forecast. And until that time, good luck. It looks like you have a lot of really cool stuff coming in in the month of February. And I think that you'll be very successful in over the course of the year to come.